This video was brought to you by Pork Bun. The multiverse. It's like the universe, but if there was like, you know, a lot of them. It's a concept that's been around for the last couple of decades, but thanks to Rick and Morty exploding in popularity, it's been used as a narrative device all over the theater industry. From DC to Marvel, from Spider-Verse to Invincible. Had enough yet? No. The multiverse just feels like it's everywhere nowadays. It was already pretty popular in comics, ever since The Flash of Two Worlds came out in 1961. But unlike superheroes, space wizards, zombies, and a whole bunch of other stuff, the multiverse might actually be real. Maybe in an alternate dimension I'm making actual good YouTube videos, and I'm living with my roommate Professor Afro. There could be a universe out there where the Soviets won the space race, and there might even be a universe where you have a girlfriend. I don't know how I feel about this. After all, there's an infinite amount of universes, so anything's possible, right? Well, not exactly. In this video, I'm going to explain to you why everything you know about the multiverse is wrong. Firstly, let's go over some common misconceptions about the multiverse. Now, before we go any further, I just want to give a quick disclaimer. I am not a quantum physicist. Here's an entry-level problem for quantum mechanics. Now, I know what you're thinking. Wait, Jar, how in the world world is that entry level? Well, that's because quantum mechanics is not an introductory level course. Before even taking a quantum mechanics class, you'll need to finish single variable calculus, multivariable calculus, complex calculus, linear algebra, classical mechanics, statistics, electromagnetic theory, thermodynamics, and finally, wave theory. Basically, what I'm trying to tell you is that I'm not an expert in this field and I don't really know what I'm talking about. I'll link a few channels down below that know a lot more about this topic than I do. If you're already a quantum physics major, you won't learn anything from this video. I'm making this video just to clear up some very, very common misconceptions about the multiverse. There are a shocking amount of people who actually believe that because they chose having a Coke over having a Pepsi, that they created another other universe, and in that alternate reality, they chose the Pepsi. Coke and Pepsi are the same thing. Wake up, people! Yeah, I am absolutely dumbfounded when I hear someone say, "Huh, huh! I'm an atheist and I don't believe in God because believing in God is dumb." However, I do believe that because I chose having Captain Crunch for breakfast over a Reese's peanut butter cup for breakfast, I created a whole nother universe where I made the opposite decision. If you ever thought this way even for a second, you're dumb and you should feel bad. This way of thinking comes from a well-known animal abusing scientist known as Schrodinger. Schrodinger was trying to convince the other scientists that he didn't actually kill his cat because until they open the box, the cat is both alive and dead. In reality, it's one or the other. You just can't see if it's alive or dead yet. In all seriousness, Schrodinger didn't kill a cat, at least as far as I'm aware. But I really hate this example because so many people have misunderstood it. You see, whether you made the choice to pick a Coke or a Pepsi, you didn't create a new universe because you picked the Coke over the Pepsi, because it doesn't matter which one you chose because there's an alternate universe where a different version of you picked the Pepsi. There's an infinite amount of universes, so everything is possible. And no, new universes are not being created every time someone makes a choice because you can't add or subtract from infinity. Infinity is just, well, infinity. Okay, technically you can add or subtract from infinity, but it won't have an effect. If the multiverse was represented by something like a tree or a line, there wouldn't be an infinite amount of branches splitting off from it. A universe doesn't get created from another universe. Those infinite amount of universes already exist. When you had the choice between a Coke and a Pepsi, you didn't suddenly split into two, with one choosing the Coke and the other choosing the Pepsi. There was just a version of you from one universe who picked a Pepsi, and another version of you from another universe who picked the Coke. Okay, technically there would be infinite versions of you who picked the Coke and infinite versions of you who picked the Pepsi, but you know what I mean. But no matter where you are in the multiverse, there's a website you just have to try. That's right, it's the sponsor of today's video, Pork Bun! Have you ever wanted a website domain but didn't know where to start? Hmm, mamma mia! 
Maybe you have a game, a service, or some other type of project that you want to advertise. Well, Porkbun has you covered. With over 500 domain expansions covering everything from .com to XYZ. If you work online, you definitely need a domain for your website. Free with every domain are web and hosting trials, link and bio trials, and so much more. There are other websites that also offer domains, but Porkbun is one of, if not the cheapest. In fact, it's two times cheaper than its nearest competitor. You can sign up for it today with my promo code, not a robot, to get $1 off your next domain name with Porkbun. And make sure you visit the URL in the description today, because why pay for things that should be free? If you're ready to save money join port bun now and now back to your regularly scheduled program but are there actually infinite versions of you because what is infinity infinity is not just a number that is infinitely growing because if there was a number that was infinitely growing you could freeze time and say oh it's at 420 octillion so even if the multiverse is just more and more universes being added you could also freeze time and count all of them infinity is a concept that humans just can't wrap their head around. Even if I was upgraded with a quantum computer, even I couldn't wrap my head around it. Is there anything in our own universe that is infinite in size? Well, actually, yes, there is. And no, I'm not going to say the universe is infinite in size because, well, we don't know if it is or isn't. Instead, I'm going to use black holes because they have infinite gravity. Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. If black holes had infinite gravity, there would be no safe distance from them. In reality, a black hole actually has trillions of times the gravity of Earth. I don't know how you multiply something by a few trillions and end up with infinity. You might have heard that the center of a black hole is infinitely dense, but if it's infinitely dense, then how is it spinning? Some scientists have said that it's not actually a singularity in the center of a black hole. Rather, it's a ringularity, which can actually spin. However, the unfortunate the unfortunate truth is, well, we don't know that much about black holes. No human, let alone a scientist, has ever gotten close to a black hole. They're a very recent discovery. The reason why so many scientists believe that a black hole has infinite gravity is because, well, that's what the math says. But the math calculation for this stuff is more than likely missing several, several, several factors. Humanity has barely just began to scratch the surface of science. That's why things in science are always changing. I mean, come on. For the longest time, it was taught as a scientific fact that the Great Wall of China was the only object visible from space. What does that even mean? If science has already answered every question in the universe, well, there would be no need for science. We are certainly closer to understanding things than we did a hundred years ago, but we still got a long, long way to go. Anytime an equation says there's an infinite amount of something, whether it's a black hole having infinite gravity, or there being an infinite amount of universes, the math is more than likely wrong. So even if alternate universes do exist, there's more than likely not an infinite amount of them. But there is probably a really, really, really large number of them. Something like a decosillion or something. Sometimes a number can be so high that from a human perspective, it's indistinguishable from infinity. Now if you thought people who think they create a universe because they made a choice were dumb, you haven't seen anything yet. There are an astounding amount of people who legitimately believe that because there's an infinite amount of universes, that there's a universe where the story of Harry Potter actually happened, where Dragon Ball actually happened, where DC and Marvel exist, where the little sci-fi or fantasy worlds you have in your head actually happened, and so on and so forth. Reality shifting. This, by the way, is not a small community of like 20 people. There are amino groups with thousands of members, videos with hundreds of thousands of views, and they have their own acronyms. O-M-G. Now most people who believe in this kind of stuff are either kids or severely mentally ill. Take Christine slash Christian Western Chandler for example. They believe that the dimensional merge is coming, where our universe is going to be combined with C-137. Yes, that is the Rick and Morty universe, but they believe it's where all fiction exists. Now of course, the CWC is obviously the most popular example of someone who believes in stuff like this. But there are tens of thousands of kids who use TikTok and Amino who also believe in this thing called reality shifting. If I can't reality shift by the end of this week, 
I will throw it off a bridge and burn it with a flamethrower. Now, people who believe in reality shifting believe that there's an infinite amount of universes where anything is possible. There's a universe where Hillary beat Trump in the election, which is absolutely impossible. I mean, could you imagine a woman being president? <laughs> That's just silly. What is she going to fill her cabinet with? <clears throat> Fine, China! But in all seriousness, yes, it is possible that there's a universe where Hillary won the election. However, a large percentage of these people who believe in reality shifting also believe that the Harry Potter universe is real. You can transfer your consciousness from your current reality, your CR for short, to your Hogwarts desired reality, your DR. And for some gosh darn reason, Hogwarts is the number one shiftable destination location. Uh. <clears throat> Now, first of all, I'm not going to explain why shifting your consciousness into another reality is impossible. I'm just here to explain that, well, even if there's an infinite amount of universes, Harry Potter isn't real. Hillary beating Trump is possible. A universe where the Hunger Games happened is possible. Because here's the thing about parallel universes. They're parallel. The laws of physics in the universe where Hillary won the election, or where the Hunger Games happened, are still the same as the laws of physics in our own universe. Harry Potter's universe, on the other hand, does not share the same laws of physics as our own universe because it has magic. When was the last time you saw someone flying on a broomstick in our own reality? There's only two ways for the Harry Potter universe to actually be real. A, their version of the Big Bang was slightly different from ours, adding new rules of physics to their universe. Or B, and this is a theory that my roommate came up with, there's a lot of universes in Harry Potter where the magic suddenly stops. Maybe it stopped right before Harry was born, maybe it stopped during the second movie, or maybe it stopped during the final battle with Voldemort. But if there's a universe where all seven movies happened as they were shown to us, then the characters were just getting extremely lucky with quantum mechanics. For example, when things are really, really, really small, random things can happen. The keyword is can. It's highly unlikely that they will, but they can. For example, every now and then, a copper molecule can transform into a chocolate molecule. Yes, I know chocolate molecules aren't real, but I don't know how else to explain it. Basically, if you flip a penny, there's an inquantifiable small chance that in that moment, it lands in your hand as a chocolate. Let's just say in our own reality, according to our own laws of physics, physics, there's a chance you could pick up a magic wand and shoot a fireball. Now obviously the magic wand is just a toy, and you didn't create the fireball. It just so happened in that moment that the air in front of the wand spontaneously combusted into fire, and then that fireball flew towards the path that you pointed your wand at. Now of course the chances that this will happen once, let alone multiple times, is super stupidly unlikely. And I mean in like a one in a Googleplex channel chance of happening. But when dealing with infinite universes, there's a 100% chance that it actually happened. But if you do somehow shift your mind into a Harry Potter universe, more likely than not you ended up in one where the magic just ended. But that's just for Harry Potter. As for universes like Marvel, Dragon Ball, or DC, characters very regularly exceed the speed of light. And there's only two extremely theoretical things that are faster than light. One is tachyons, but they're not not that much faster than light, and I highly doubt that Superman, Goku, and Thor are transforming into tachyons then reforming over and over and over again. It's also possible that a whole bunch of mini black holes are appearing then disappearing around Flash when he runs, which would warp space and time around him. To many of you this may sound like nonsense, and that's because it is. We're trying to apply real world physics to a fantasy universe. The only way I see for the DC universe, the Marvel universe, or the Dragon Ball universe to to actually exist is for the laws of physics to be completely different from our own because their Big Bang was so radically different. Or maybe a Big Bang wasn't the thing that created their universe. Maybe it was a god or something. But if the multiverse is real and there's multiple different types of Big Bangs, then it's probably very, very, very devoid of life. If you had Rick's portal gun and you opened up a portal to an alternate dimension,
dimension, well, it would probably be too hot for life to exist, or too cold for life to exist, or there's more antimatter than regular matter, and it came through the portal and touched you, so now you no longer exist. You're gonna have to go through a lot of different universes before you find one where you chose the Coke instead of the Pepsi. And all of this is assuming that the multiverse is actually real, which so far has not been verified. It's just a theory, and a shaky one at that. The only evidence to support its existence is that that's where the math leads us according to things like string theory, and a lot of scientists don't actually believe in string theory. I understand that theory has a different definition in the scientific community, but multiverse theory is not like the theory of gravity or anything like that. Science is about studying the physical world, and currently there's no way of studying alternate universes. If there's one thing I want you to take away from this video, it's this. It's best not to worry about the multiverse. Let scientists do that. Instead of trying to project your consciousness into the world of Harry Potter, try to focus on making your own reality better. I like fiction just as much as the next guy. I have a whole power scaling channel about it. But sometimes we can really, really get lost in it and try to twist what scientists say to make it into reality. But the reality is, Schrodinger never said nor implied that the world of My Hero Academia is real. It's very sad that I had to say that, but apparently I did. 